Welcome to V Blog twenty uh, thirty seven. Hey, we're in chapter six. This is business one thirty five fun with math and Excel. Let's go ahead and click on the word sheet tab. Word problem, application problem. Here it is. If the series trade discount is twenty fifteen five, and the net cost after trade discount is sixty four sixty, what is the list price? Look at that. They give us the net cost after trade discount. So this is the um, amount that we pay, and they give us the trade discount. So you may have to think a little bit about this, but let's just do step one, and maybe along the way we can kind of figure out what they're asking. I'm just going to take as many details and just list them first, and maybe that will lead me to an answer. Series trade discount, 2015-5. Then I went ahead and put one, two, three, the three different uh, discounts. And the net cost, 64.60. But what is the list price? That's what they're asking there. Now, earlier we kind of hinted at that anytime we calculate the net cost equivalent, right? Net cost equivalent. If we multiply that by the original list price, it gives us how much we cost. Well, um, th this is the net cost equivalent. When we calculate I'm sorry, the, the cost. If we calculate the net cost equivalent, that's going to be a percent or a decimal that we multiply by some original whole or base, the list price, to get this part. So there you go. This is a part rate base problem. And I even actually drew a little picture over here to, to help me remember that. And the part, oh yeah, the net cost is part of the whole or the base, the original list cost. The rate, oh, that's the net cost equivalent. So if we take the part divided by rate, that gives us the base. So we listed all our things. That's always step one. Step two, set up and solve. Once the, the hard part is figuring out that part, rate, base. Remember, we started with the list price times some rate gave us the part. And as we remember from chapter three, where there's three different versions of this formula, this is one of them. Part divided by rate equals base. So we're going to calculate our rate, which is net cost equivalent. Equals control V. Look, it's still there. 20% close parentheses times control V. Click on the next one. Close parentheses times control V. Click on the next one. Close parentheses. Wow, 6.646. And now we calculate our net cost. Oh, we don't have to calculate it. We already know it. It was given. $64.60. Now the list price, that's our part times rate. So we're going to say equals round open parentheses part divided by rate comma to close parentheses. Now, this I put a little comment here. If you point to it, that little red thing says there's a comment. But the here we could actually get a pen, be a penny off or so because when if especially if we have one that goes way out and it's got lots of decimals, when we originally calculated this, they rounded. So if we take this which we calculated from the original unrounded percentage Take this thing that's rounded by this that's not. We could be a penny off here. And it's kind of because we're going in reverse order here. All right, uh, write your answer in words. There I did it already here with a series discount of. And again, the trick is I just grab all the words from there. And they, they were asking for the list price. So I could say the list price after a trade discount of this and a given information of net cost is... And that's kind of what I did with the trade discount of 2055 and a net cost of 64.60. The list price was 